All right, so let's do some factoring with special products. Summing difference of a perfect cube. The pattern, if you have a sum of a perfect cube, A plus B, A squared minus AB plus B squared. If you have a difference of two cubes, the factor pattern, A minus B, A squared plus AB, plus B squared. All right, so we're going to do the examples of the factor pattern with a negative. We're going to keep them all negative just for simplicity here. First thing you need to do is determine, do you have a perfect cube, and what does the cube look like? 8y cubed is a perfect cube, because y is a cube, and so is 8. The perfect cube number for 8 is 2. This can be written as 2y, the quantity cubed. And 1 can also be written as 1 cubed. 1, a very special number. It can be a perfect cube, it can be a perfect square, it can be a fifth root. Anything goes with the 1. Okay, so I had it set up. I got my perfect cubes. What do I do next? Look at the factor pattern. If I have a minus, the first parenthesis, a minus b. So, my a minus b, 2y minus 1. Next parenthesis, it's a little bit bigger. Notice, it's a little bit bigger. But a squared, so I have to take the 2y and square that. 4y squared. Plus sign. a times b, 2y times 1. B squared, one squared. That's the answer. Perfect cube. All right. Let's try one more. Twenty-seven x cubed minus eight. First of all, set them up so you see what the perfect cube base numbers are. Three x cubed minus two cubed. Once you've determined that they're both perfect cubes, and you set them up so that they look like perfect cubes, indeed, it's easy to factor. Follow the pattern. Here's the pattern, a minus b. So on this one, 3x minus 2. Next parenthesis is going to be a little bit bigger. a squared. 3x squared, about 9x squared. AB plus 6x plus B squared, 4. There you go. Now, one more perfect cube. The problem with this one, doesn't look like a cube. What do I do? First choice Greatest common factor. What do both of these have in common? They're divisible by two, and they both have a u. So, let's take out the two u and write it u to the third minus 27. What does that look like? A perfect cube, of course. u to the third minus Now that I know it's a perfect cube, it's easy. Follow the factor pattern. The 2u is part of the answer, so don't forget that. Then I'm going to have a small parenthesis and a large parenthesis. I like to get my parentheses in there first. It helps me remember sometimes if you get interrupted in the middle of a problem, you can go back and find out where you left off. Okay, so it's a subtraction. So we're following the second pattern. We want a minus b, u minus 3. Then a squared plus ab. Whoops, that should be u squared. Plus the ab would be 3u plus the b squared is 9 in this case. There you go, factoring a perfect cube.